Hi boys and girls, I've got some super cool things for you today and I hope you really enjoy art this week because we have a glitter paper and a pretty little sort of like an embroidered heart. It's a paper heart that we're, I'm going to show you how to decorate it real pretty and get it glued on your glitter and we're making this owl and I even bought you some little jewels that are sticky on back so you're going to be getting some of these in a, in a little ziplock bag. They are for your owl okay and this says I will always love you and it's meant for Valentine's Day so I just hope you super love everything and today I got some Valentine colors out because you you don't have to if you do not want to make your owl Valentine colors then you do your own colors whatever you think of but we have to use these in the packet don't use these for uh, your owl because they won't stick we are going to use those for that Okay, and I'll show you in a minute how to do that. But right now, I want you to look. I may not be going exactly by this, but I'm going to try to keep it close anyway. But I'm going to start with my little heart right up here in the center, right at the top. Usually I start at the top and go down uh, different artists do it different ways. Some people just start right in the middle. And sometimes I start at the bottom so I don't get my elbows in it. That's a good idea too. But remember what I said about paint. Uh, I have my big brush right now because I was planning on starting with something big. But only put a tiny bit of paint at the tip of your brush. Do not dip your whole brush in there. You'll have a big gob and what it'll do is it'll just make your paper be messy. Now I'm going to take my smaller brush now, which I should have used to begin with, and I'm going to go around the eyes like this with red. Okay, and you see I just dip it in and I go and spread every bit of the paint out. One other trick is to turn your brush over because the other side, when you dip it, the other side of your brush also has paint. So this is one of the tedious parts of the owl. Okay, so you have to go very slowly to stay in the lines and cover up every part. Now when I come back in a minute, I'm going to color the inside of that eyeball with my blue, okay? That's what I'm going to do. I think they use some kind of purple. Maybe I'll do it purple. But anyway, I'm going to go around his eyeball like this. I'm making a Valentine owl because I don't have anything in my house right now for Valentine's Day. So this will be a good little picture for Miss Terry's mantle during Valentine's Day. Maybe yours too, okay? So, we are going to put the top on the red, I think, because I'm not really going to use a whole lot of red. There's something I need to do that I forgot about, guys. I'm going to have to go back and put my... I must have got excited about doing this with you guys. I didn't make the little beak. So, I'll make it like this, how about? Because I kind of want it red too. Whoa, horsey, be careful, not like Miss Terry. Don't try not to drop it, okay? Because it will get on your clothes. And whether it comes off or not, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Mom, you if you get some of this on your clothes, just let mom scrub it with spray and wash or something and then wash it, okay? So now I've got a little nose, that makes me feel better. Now what do you think, purple or blue in the middle? Because we're going to put a jewel up for his little eyeball. So maybe purple will be pretty. Let's try purple. Okay, I'm going to wash out. Every time we change colors, I'm going to do the inside of his eyeball now. I, went, I chose purple instead because I wasn't paying attention really what color that was. But I'm going to try to go with the picture. But our colors aren't going to be so dark as that picture. We'll have a brighter looking owl in that picture. 
because for some reason that copy turned out dark. Theirs is probably brighter too. But I think a purple eyeball is pretty. Okay, and then you can choose two of your jewels that you got. And if you have to cut some apart, you might want to get your parents to help you. You're going to get two strips, so you're getting plenty, plenty, plenty of jewels to use, okay? Now, I'm going to rinse that out, and I'm going to get my big brush again, okay? Now, it had red on it, but I'm going to switch over and rinse it out. I didn't do it last time. Keep putting the tops back on your stuff, okay? Now, I'm going to rinse that out, and I'm going to get my pink. And somehow my pink got a different color in it, so I don't know what happened. If you ever want to make your pink darker or lighter, darker you can put a little bit of black in it or a little bit of dark red. Or if you want it lighter, you can put a tiny bit of white. But right now, I just want to use my pink for the face. And you see, I told you our colors are going to be brighter, okay, than the picture. And like I said, you can change your colors. You don't have to do what I'm doing, and you don't have to do what the picture's doing for sure, okay? If you're trying to, you have your big brush, and you're trying to get in a little space, turn it sideways, up and down. You see what I mean? See, I'm doing that, and it kind of works like a small brush. But don't get new paint until you've used all the paint. When it looks like you've spread it out as much as you can, then you get new paint, okay? And you can also use your small brush for this, okay? Whatever you feel comfortable with. Just use what you're comfortable with. Because I still want you to, whoopsie, got a little drop there. Miss Terry has to remember, when you get a drop of paint, like you dropped out, I put too much paint on my brush. Okay, so I need to spread that out. We don't want any big globs or any streaks, okay? So smooth out the streaks and smooth out any globs you have that might be from having too much paint on your brush, okay? So, Miss Terry's gotta remember those little things too that make your picture prettier. Tiny bit on the end, remember? Tiny bit on the end. Cause you don't want too much paint. It just makes a super big mess. Okay, so. Here we go. We're just about done with the face. Okay, so there's his little face. Okay, I made a pink face. Red beak and a red heart. Now, it looks like I'm gonna get the purple out again. Okay, so he's gonna have purple wings. It looks like the wings might be red though, doesn't it? Maybe I'll go with red wings. Red wings and purple tummy, how about that? And then, do y'all see their little bitty jewels shining on there? That's what you're getting, except I bought all different kinds of shapes and sizes, okay? So you are gonna have to decide what you wanna do for your own decorations. Okay, so we're gonna spread out the paint. Did y'all see how I flipped the brush over? See, flip it over, but don't go like this, okay? Cause that will just make another kind of mess on your paper and it'll tear your brush up. It'll, your brush will look terrible if you mash down hard. So use real soft strokes, okay? Real soft. Not bending down hard on it, okay? A painter doesn't paint down hard because you don't want to tear up your tools. The things that you work with are your tools. And a paintbrush is a very important tool to a painter and to an artist. You can be called an artist one day when you get super good and you practice doing everything the right way. Okay? Okay. 
Okay, but if you want to on this, use your imagination and use your own colors. But the main thing I want you to see is we can go back and forth. We just can't use it like a color crayon, okay? But we can go back and forth. It's really neater and you get more space covered if you just go carefully, okay? And when you need to go over something because it dried out before you got more paint, you can. See on the edges? Or you might like that look. That's kind of like a weathered look. A lot of people do that in their painting, don't they? And they get a lot of money for it. <laughs> if you sell your paintings, but if you sell them, you have to do a super good job so someone will want to buy it, huh? Okay, so we have red wings, and now I'm going with purple. Purple, purple tummy, okay? And I'm going to show you one little trick with the purple tummy. What you can do, if you want to do this, you can, okay? You do not have to, I'm going to dry that off a little bit so it's not so watery. You can do what I'm doing, okay? If you want to, I'm just going to show you a little trick. Start with the pink, okay? Just go all over the tummy with the pink. This little owl must be hiding his little feet. <laughs> he didn't have feet in the picture. I'll show you a little trick. Remember, spread your paint out thin so you don't have lines or spaces left. Spread it out. Okay, real good. Okay. This is, you can go sideways. You can just about go any way you want, really. It's okay. And usually I try to go to the black line but if you do get paint on the black line, that they usually show through, okay? So I think that's okay. Now, I wanna show you something I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna leave a pink owl and I'm gonna leave that pink on my brush. I'm not gonna wash it out because now I'm gonna dip it into the purple and I'm gonna kinda cover it a little bit of purple. See, that kinda changes this color, doesn't it? I'm going to spread it over the pink, make it purple and pink, how about that? You don't have, with this, when you're shading something like this, you don't have to go all the way to the end. I mean, if you look closely at the picture, you'll see that they just went right to the end, but they didn't um, really cover up the ends of the purple. It sort of looks like it's washed over, doesn't it? And don't get too much purple on your brush because you just want to barely wash that over. Okay? You just want to barely wash it over a little bit and stop at the ends. Okay? And you can just brush it real carefully. Okay? See? So there, his little feathers in the middle are all different colors, aren't they? They're pink and purple and real pretty colors. Now, here's the fun part. We're done painting. This is the fun part. You are going to get some little, uh, whoa, I know I just got that on me. Okay, be sure and keep your paints covered back up real quick, okay, because you do not want to get it on you like I just did, okay? It's hard for me to talk and do two things at one time. And my red top. Okay, now I'm going to do this going to wipe it off, okay? So I've got it wiped off. I'm gonna cut the package, and yours are gonna be already cut. So you won't have to do this. Yours are not gonna be in the package. Yours are gonna be cut in strips, okay? I just brought a brand new package for back here. Now, on your little things, they're gonna be <coughs> mostly on a white strip like this. These weren't really in strips, so that's why I did this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two things, and I'm going to, two little, they're sticky on the back, and they just stuck to my finger. 
So I'm gonna make him some shiny little eyeballs right in the middle that I'm gonna get two that match, okay? And you may wanna do this. Yours do not have to be this size or shape because you're gonna get all different things. I'm, t whoopsie, still stuck. I'm sticking everywhere, guys. So take your time, okay? And they have, they don't have any on their heart, but I'm gonna take some different colors and I'm gonna stick them all over the wings. So this is gonna be a really, <laughs> it's stuck on my finger again, a really shiny Valentine heart that's all different colors, okay? I'm not gonna put any on his body or his face, just the wings, so I promise you have plenty of little stickers and if you wanna give yours a minute to dry, that's fine too. You can give it a minute to dry. I'm just gonna spread them out everywhere so they look nice and even. Don't put them all side by side because that makes them look too, too perfect, okay? So just kinda spread them out, some in the middle. Some are big, and I'm getting some of the small ones too because I think they're pretty. Some out to the side. See what I'm doing? And I think I could have a couple more over there. Okay, now I'm coming over to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing, except this side is gonna be all different colors, okay? And this, they get stuck on you real easy, so you're gonna have to be careful with turning them over and stuff. Goodness gracious, they like my fingernails. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna keep going. Get some different colors in here. Get them on the side. I like this one, that's a clear one. And different colors so your thing will really, really shine for everybody. That was a big one. I didn't mean to do it, but it was. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you put down. Mine just happen to be round, okay? Yours are not gonna all be round. There's no telling what's in your packet. We are just gonna try to cut them out so you guys get all different pretty colors, okay? Without putting too many, I'm just putting that many. And I love that. Write your name and the date on back, okay, that you made this. And you'll have a super good Valentine picture. Okay, I love that. I'm glad we did that. Now, I wanna show you this. You're gonna take the heart first, okay? And for this picture, guys, I'm gonna move the acrylic paint in the packets, okay, because we're not using that. For this, we're going to use these. Now, I wanna show you a secret. Okay, now to get different colors on my heart, I'm not covering the big heart in the middle because I'm writing you a little sign in the middle, okay? But you can paint around your heart with watercolors. Now, before you glue this on the glitter picture, it's got to completely dry. Don't use too much water. I'm just gonna start with blue just to show you. Now mix it for a few minutes, okay? Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it, okay? Now, you're just gonna take it and you're going to make it different colors. Like I'm, it's okay if it gets on the bottom paper in it because that's our, that's our uh, little cover sheet. You see how I'm doing this? That's because I'm putting different colors I might get it a little darker. Uh, I'm putting different colors in between. So now, I think I'll do a little pink. Wash my brush out good. Let's see how this hot pink does. Okay, we're gonna go round and round and round and round and round. Round and round and round. Get some paint. Now, if you don't mix it up good, guys, it won't show up pretty, okay? So you've got to mix it for a few minutes, okay? Now, ooh, look. So 
putting a little rip part of the putting a little pink in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse that out because I got a little blue on my brush. You really want to keep these colors from getting mixed up, okay? So wash your brush out because you're kind of going over. See how we're going over the blue? And some of that blue is gonna get on your brush, okay? So rinse it out, stir, make more color. Y'all see what I'm doing? So pretty, I love it. Now, you're painting around it, but you're not painting the inside, okay? You're not painting the inside. Okay, so I picked blue and pink to do on the outside. So, I'm going to pick the, uh, let's see, what can I pick? I'm going to pick the red, I think, for these pretty little, I'm going to call them flowers up here. I don't really know what they are, but I'm going to mix up some red. It's going to be a, a lighter red than you're used to, okay? So I picked uh, pink and blue for the outside. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some pretty little flowers, okay? And if you want to do this with different colors, you can, okay? Whatever you want to do. See? And if you want to go back, I think I'm going to go back with red, okay? And I'm going to kind of make, there's some little ones on the side. Let me just paint those real quick. Okay. Anyway, if you want to, you can do this, okay? You can go back and paint the edges of your heart. See what I'm doing? I'm just making little bitty strokes. Just so everybody can see the shape. Don't go inside the heart, just around those little holes, okay? That are on the edges. See what I'm doing? Get a little bit more red going here. Now this would be a pretty, pretty picture to give someone that you love, okay? See? And now it looks like a little cute heart. Now, and mine says, I love you. Now, when yours dries, I'm really scared to do mine right now. Oh, it's gonna leave a pretty picture too, isn't that pretty? <laughs> now, when it dries, you are gonna put teensy tiny drops of glue on back, and you're gonna put it right in the center of your glitter, like that. I am not gonna, um, I'm not gonna, uh, put glue on mine because it really needs to dry too. Okay, now that's just the way I did mine and you'll have a little saying that one says I love you. Now these are some little pictures also for you to paint. You can use your acrylic and you can use your watercolors and you can give these away. This is a little uh, Valentine card. It would be great for your teacher or anybody. This is a little puppy holding hearts. These are the cutest little pictures ever. And he says, I love you bunches. And a little butterfly that says, I love you mom. So that's super good. Now, just for fun, Miss Terry's gonna draw that fish with you, okay? So, I'm gonna get my pencil. And we all, this fish has a little story to read about him too, okay? So all of these pictures that you get today have a story page that you could get someone to read you. Now, let's draw the fish. Now, it looks like the first thing you're drawing is kind of like an egg, okay? So that's not hard to draw, just a little oval, okay? Now, he might be a little heartfish because 
that little tail to me looks like a heart. So I'm gonna go out like this for the half of the heart and out like this for the other half of the heart, okay? Now, I'm gonna put, look, these are half of hearts too, so I'm going to make a little fin that could be half a heart and a little fin that could be another half of a heart, okay? He's a happy little fish, so he has a little smile. Oops, I guess I was gonna do that so you could see it. Let me erase. Okay, do erase, always, always. I'm trying to draw it upside down so you guys can see it. Okay, so he has a little eyeball. Let's see if I can do better. And a little happy smile. Okay, now they painted theirs, it looks like they used crayons, yellow and red. So you can go back and do that. You know you have crayons in here. Or you can use your paints, okay? So Miss Terry's gonna have to go now so the video's not too long. But I think this is a super fun art week, okay? You're making a beautiful jeweled owl and a beautiful heart on glitter paper. And you're drawing a fish and you're drawing a little parrot, okay? So you always have blank paper too if you wanna make a big uh, picture of your animal, okay? And you can paint it or color it. Whatever you would like to do, I just have to stop now, but I will see you next week with something more that's fun, 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 okay? So you guys go slow in your painting and draw some creative pictures too. You may have a different fish in mind. Just use your thoughts and think about different colors you like to use and make your own pictures too. You don't have to do exactly what Miss Terry does. Always use your own ideas, okay? That makes you creative and makes it your own, so you own it. But thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.